Hello, trading is closed on January 7, 2016. Yesterday I said this recovery was positive unless we gapped under this low, but I wasn't too interested in the long side. I have more interest in the long side today, and futures are up smartly. I'd be happier if we dropped first, but it's not required. During the day, MJT said ultimately higher prices would print, which they did. While it called for these higher prices, it also said that this yellow target area would be hit, which it was. So while we gapped down, usually when you gap down like this and just rally right from the low, it's a gap and trap. Usually you keep going up, and MJT says, no, 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 down we come, and that worked. It now says that this drop is not the real thing. It gives us a target of 1954.85, most likely to print tomorrow. It says in the uh, book that targets are most likely to fail during major changes in trend and during periods of strong impulsive moves. I think this one will print, and that's my call for tomorrow. This is a pattern which typically... Um, drops to new lows as we close. When you're unable to close over the middle of the day, make that under the middle of the day low, it's usually positive unless this low is taken out early in the day. Um, the break of this trend line here is not a valid break, and according to Tom DeMarc, we should return to this line at some time. According to my own rules, we should return to this line at some time. You're talking about 100 handles higher than where we closed. I also think that there are any number of waves, any number of ways to count the waves here. This could be the end of wave one of three, but the fact that we haven't undercut the lows of wave one of larger degree, of the same degree as wave three, tells me this is probably still a corrective wave, wave two. It could be that this one's A, and that's B. Uh, if this is 100%, that's 78.6, and the Fibonacci relationship between these two waves. If this is A and that's B, the Fibonacci relationship gives some credence to this being a low. We do have bar 13 of the buy signal and 30 minute chart. We have the combo and we have the sequential. We don't need more than that, but if we had two bars more, we could turn this into a 9139, which is a stronger signal. When you have alignment on different time frames, it adds to the credibility of the signal. We have number 13 of the sequential on the 65 minute. The last three bars of the combo buy signal don't have to obey all the rules, so we have a possible buy signal from the combo also. It would be nicer if we dropped a bit further and got these bars without the fudge factor, but it's not required and the futures actions indicating it might not happen. We are close to a buy signal on the 78 minute chart also. It really would be nicer if we could drop a little bit lower here and get that in alignment, but again, it's not a requirement. That's the chart I showed. Um, sentiment indicators are also calling for a low within a day. This is the headline of the evening edition of the Chicago Tribune. Right on the first page, it says that stocks are slumping. Usually when you see a stock market drop on the front page of your paper, it means you're within a day of a low. My wife was watching the television today, and they interrupted her program to say the market was tanking. That's really a strong sentiment indicator that we're near a low. This is the old VIX. Here's a bar almost completely over the upper Bollinger band. 
as you see, that's usually a sign of a turn in the market also. I'd be happier if we went up a little bit higher, which means the market drops some more, but it's not required. So I think we're pretty close to a low. Futures are indicated we're going to, futures are indicating we're going to go straight up. And we have print, and we have plenty of evidence to, to justify a rally from these levels. But in spite of the futures, I'd be happier if we had a panic collapse on huge volume first. Just because I'd like it doesn't mean we're going to have it. And the futures action uh, tells me I probably won't. But if we do have a panic sell off early in the day, it would be a great time to go long. The long-term call is still the same. The market has topped out and we're going to drop for years. So anyone who goes long should keep his position size and stop uh, manageable. And that's today's call.